Come on, don't do it. Go. Well, there you have it. I came out to the farm. The owner of the cattle showed up. So uh, he came over there. He found them. They know his truck really well, I guess. So uh, he drove as far as he could. Then there's a low water crossing here on the property, and it's not that safe. It needs it needs some an ATV can go across it, but not a not a vehicle really. But uh, he walked over here, and I, I showed up about that time driving a, a tractor across the property, and uh, we got him shoved in there. So got the cattle on not my property on their property now and uh he's got to still corral them up sounds like he's got some uh gates to fix and then we also have some patching to do on some fences because i found those two spots so kevin and i have got to patch that up he's got to fix his side um so just shenanigans you got to deal with uh it's part of part of farming part of ranching and uh part of working with your neighbors to get stuff solved so at least they're over there now So we're back. Um, yesterday, Kevin, Marissa, Brooks, and Maya, we came out here and we repaired Kevin mostly. Repaired one side, um, fixed where the cattle are getting out. Sorry, my voice is scratchy, getting over a little bit of a cold. So our land cuts right through over a creek and there's no telling how long it's been down. But basically, uh, we got that one patched up, but there is one more um, on the backside of a pond it has washed out so we're going to take these panels here um brooks and i hauled these panels over here right here they're just good old-fashioned hog panels what we're going to do is i'm going to throw them over this fence is the deal i got to put them over this fence because the only way really to that side is going through a creek and um i'll show you that creek here in a second it's a kind of a low water crossing but i really don't want to pull these panels across there these 16 foot panels so i'm gonna throw them over the fence right here then we're gonna come back around through the creek pick the panels up because where we're gonna fix this other fence right there is a pond actually where i saw a lot of the hog sign on this property and uh, we're gonna fix that there and these 16 foot panels will be perfect for it there's water erosion i think when that pond overflows or floods it drains into this other pond and the water has eroded right there so we're gonna put these panels up and uh, keep these cattle out of it hopefully so uh, and then we'll get to working on that so Brooks and Maya are just gonna hang tight plus I want you guys to know something there's no bison around there's no bison so it's just me Maya and Brooks my scratchy voice just hanging out so we're all safe, I promise. It's gonna be a long time before we ever get bison back here though. Just so you guys know, we got a lot of fence building to do, a lot of fence building. I may have already mentioned that, but if I haven't, we got a lot of fence building before we ever get to this back 80 of the property. Who is that? Is that Maya? Are you loving on Maya? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Oh. One. I know some of you are probably going, Dusty, there's got to be a gate around here. There's got to be a gate. Well, there is, but it's right in there. You probably can't see it because I can't see it standing here. You gotta go through those wild blackberry bushes. There's a cedar tree right in the middle of the gate. So it shows you how long it's been since this land has been really taken care of. 
that is all blackberry bushes. There's some cedar, some cedar. There is actually a 10 foot gate in there that Kevin found. Yeah, it'd be nice to go through there and because we just need to go right there. But instead we're going to, have to go all the way around and back, which is not terrible. It's a nice, pretty evening out here. So that just gives you an idea of how much work we have to do. So here's our gap. We gotta. That water is eroded back back here behind it. And so we've got a some good old deer tracks, a lot of cattle tracks. We're gonna put this panel right across here. <laughs> it's funny, this is where the fence used to be. And that is a good uh maybe at nine feet high. I'm barely six foot. I call it five, twelve. Um, and that's pretty far up there. Get out of the mud. Hey guys, well, I'm back. Yesterday was kind of a, uh, <laughs> ended in a disaster, let's just say. Uh, Dad failed and didn't bring baby girl's boots and um, took one little step when I wasn't paying attention, stepped right in the mud, went all the way through, past the shoe, past the sock. It didn't end very well, so <laughs> sun was going down anyway, so we, uh, let's just say we packed up and we headed home. Um, that was enough for Brooks <laughs> to uh, be a, uh, about calf deep in the mud. So dad learned, always bring the boots. And um, anyway, so uh, lesson learned. But uh, I'm, I'm here now and I'm gonna go ahead and put up these uh, hog panels. I got two of them and I'm gonna string them up across here to try to keep the cattle out. And uh, hopefully this will help fill this gap. We got the other one done across the creek. Kevin did most of that, but I'm gonna tie this up with these panels and stretch them across here and hopefully It'll keep them out in the meantime. This fence will eventually need to be replaced in the future, but got to patch it up and move on.
there you have it, guys. Don't judge, but this is just a patch up. It's uh, it's just something temporary to get us by, to keep the cattle out. You can see their tracks. They've been coming through here. Other than that, we still got a lot of hog sign right here. You can see where they've been rolling around. And uh, you can see all their hoof prints. And uh, this little pond, it's going to be a nice little hunting pond eventually um, once we get to it. But hopefully this will slow down the cattle using these uh, combo panels, these hog panels is what we like to call them. Still even left a gap here for the deer to travel through because um, we want that. They're not going to be able to jump through here because of the how high this fence is. But <coughs> I did leave a gap low enough where cattle won't try to stick their nose through it and get in there but um the deer will be able to travel underneath there that's plenty of room for them so maya you approve well hopefully this will uh, do uh do justice at least uh for now but um hopefully the cattle stay out of here and i'm not having to chase them out anymore and i, I actually met with the landowner and talked to him whenever we moved them and so uh I, uh, I don't know how much long he's going to be in the business, um, so I think he's actually getting rid of his cattle, which is nice. So, But uh, this is just part of owning land next to next to uh, people, and that's the way it is. So, um, And if they got cattle, you got to work with them, and uh, that's what that's what we got to do. So but we got it patched up, which is all that matters. Both places patched up. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you following along, just doing ranching stuff here, trying to... Uh, keep the dadgum cattle out because eventually later on in the future the bison will be back here and uh we don't want the cattle and the bison <laughs> we don't want the cattle and the bison to mix so uh just part of life um when you're doing this so still got a lot to learn on this land and explore some some places on it and uh fix some fences that's going to be a constant for the next several years so uh, and building new fence so anyways thank you guys for watching Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, got it patched up. We got those cattle out. I haven't had any issues with it. And I hope you guys understand something. That area where those were getting out um, is, is kind of in the far back area of our property. It's going to be a while before we get the bison back there. And there's something else I want you guys to understand. We've got a lot of fence work to do. The, the previous owner, the previous guy who was leasing this property, didn't do any work on the fencing so we've got a lot of fencing to do over um, it's going to be a while um, uh, but right now we've got the the bison up here and we got them taken care of and they've got some land to roam but we've got some fence repair to do on this place we've got some new fence um, to do we've got a, a lot of work we've got to push some timber and everything and we're going to bring you along on that journey so um, I want you guys to understand that and and, and something else is because those cattle were out, I don't know if you've ever been a landowner or not, but uh, when you share uh, land with your neighbor, you share that fence. Uh, that is a fence that you both have together. And if their animals get out on my property or your property, it is their responsibility to come get those animals. Yes, I need to I needed to walk the line and whatnot, and I hadn't got to walk some of it, but uh, it, where this was was kind of in a, a tough area, and there was a creek, and, and when those creeks get up, it's very hard, unless you have something really good um, and stable, um, the creek, the water, when it rushes and when it floods, it, it will destroy those fences, and this property, like I said, has needed a lot of attention as far as fencing goes, and so... Kevin and I got it patched up, and I patched the other place up near the pond. But um, because his cattle got out um, on our property, it is their responsibility to come get their cattle. Just like if my bison got out on somebody else's property, it's my responsibility to go get those cattle. Well, we were frustrated. I wasn't mad. 
wasn't a big deal. Those cattle weren't causing any problems. Yes, they're doing a little free grazing and whatnot. They weren't causing a lot of problems, but they didn't need to be out on our land. And, and we were frustrated. Kevin and I were frustrated because we couldn't get a hold of the landowner. And if, if you don't know that you have cattle missing, they could be out on the highway, which is dangerous, or they could be out on somebody else's property. Well, in this case, they were. They're on our property because we share a border with them. So if you share a border with somebody, you do have to get along and you share that fence. It's both of our responsibility to make sure that fence is in good shape. Well, because I hadn't made it to those spots, we finally found those areas and we addressed them. We did. The neighbor didn't address them. Maya's having fun. We addressed the fence line. They got out on our property and we patched the fence. He didn't do it. So we got it taken care of. And that's just part of it when you share land with somebody. Let me know if you've had this experience before. But um, some of you got a little frustrated with me and uh, I'm not uh, checking the fences and whatnot. We're, it's not like the bison are roaming around out there, guys. It, we're going to slowly transition to that area, but we got a lot of fence to build. So don't forget, it's the same thing. If my bison got out on their property, it's my responsibility to go get them. His cattle got on our land because they're searching for more grass because they're hungry. So there you go. It's his responsibility to come get them. Not mad. That's just part of it. And um, I'm a nice guy, and I want to have. Uh, I want to be nice to my neighbors. So we're not going to have any issues uh, with that. He was a nice guy, and he was a actually able to come get his cattle. So we're good to go. No problems. Just part of um, getting this all new ranch started. So, anyways, that's enough of that. Hey guys, got a little surprise back here for you. I made a little trip to South Dakota to see my buddies at Dakota Pure Bison. That video will be out of that journey. I also helped work their bison. 220 pairs of bison. What an awesome day and what beautiful, beautiful animals, guys, that they have. Can't wait to share that story with you. Just, uh, just giving you a little hint right there of uh, what's here now at the new ranch that we're starting off with. I hope you enjoy or like the new brand that we have here for the new ranch. We're still keeping our original brand, you can see there. But uh, I hope you do like the CTB brand that we have here. And uh, just uh, thank you guys for watching us and uh, hope you guys have a, a merry, merry Christmas, my favorite holiday. And so we're gonna enjoy that with uh, Brooksy. It'll be her second Christmas as she's about to turn two years old. And uh, it's just a good time, one of my favorite times of the year to be with family and um very lucky and blessed to have this place and we're very thankful for that and for these uh we're able to raise these awesome animals and i also want to thank you guys so have a merry christmas guys we'll see you later mm -hmm.